Right, week nine, introduction to R continued. Uh, this is the first task on the uh, the workshop sheet this week, and I've called it Too Many Elephants. Now, we're going to go and take a look at some of the stats that you've been taught in your lecture this week. But first, I want to answer a question that was bothering, you, uh, bothering a few of you um, last week. Uh, last week, oh, sorry, week seven, we've had a, a careers week since then. Week seven, you were essentially recreating something you'd already done using Excel on the formative test, right? You were uh, plotting the the weight uh, of a baby elephant as a function of time in months, and then you were adding a trend line and extracting the, the, the equation of a straight line um, parameters from that, okay? And I had basically gotten you to do the same thing using R in week seven, and a lot of you correctly asked... Um, you know, what is the point in doing this in R if I can just use Excel? Um, and it's a, it's a lot easier. Uh, and you are, of course, right. But what if I had given you the data for a thousand baby elephants? What on earth would you have done then? Would, are you going to tell me that you would have used Excel to plot those graphs, extract those parameters for every single baby elephant... I don't think so. If so, then good luck to you, my friend. Um, this is the power of R, okay? We are now going to use R to do exactly that. Um, we are going to find the file out of those thousand files I'm going to give you that corresponds to the elephant which put weight on the quickest, right? And uh, we're going to do that probably in about 10 to 15 minutes, um, something that you probably would take you days to do in Excel, and that is is why we are bothering to use R. So, I've got a compressed zip file here. Um, you can download that directly from the worksheet. Let's do that. Now, for those of you who don't know what a .zip file is, I'm sure most of you have seen these. Basically, it's just a collection of files condensed into a single file, okay? And you have to extract that. So whether you're using um, a Mac or um, Windows, you're gonna have to open it up and then you're going to extract it. So I'm using Linux, so this is probably going to look a bit different for you. But I'm going to extract this to um, the project directory that um, I'm interested in. So you should have created a project directory in week 7. Um, I'm going to go into my Intro to R clone for now. And you can see here is the Intro to R project file that I created. Um, I created a week 7 directory in week 7, which is kind of sensible. Uh, we are now in week 9, uh, so if you haven't got a week 9 folder, maybe create one. Um, I've also given another folder name in that which corresponds to this specific question uh, called 9 underscore 1, too many elephants. Um, you'll notice that I have not put any spaces in these files names. That's going to be important in a second. Um, basically, any coding language, not just R, it doesn't really like... Um, spaces in its parameters or its variable names so um, try hard not to use spaces in your file names so generally whenever I think I feel I want to do a space I'm going to put an underscore okay so I've created a directory called 9 underscore 1 too many elephants I'm going to extract these files there um, I'm going to close that I'm going to, I've already got R Studio open and I'm already and to get back to my um, my sort of working directory, I've gone open project, I've gone into the directory I uh, created, which should be in your M drive, it must be in your M drive if you are uh, using this, and I have just, I've just opened this single intro to our project file, okay, um, so you should do that. Now, these are the files I've got, um, go back into when week 9, I've got that 9.1, I've got my extracted folder um, called Lots of Elephants, right? And in here, you can see there are text files for a thousand elephants. Let's just click on one. Each of them look a bit like this. They've got the time uh, in months against the weight in kilo, okay? And that is unique for every one of these files. Those data sets are different for everybody. And I am asking you to find the elephant corresponding to whatever this six-digit number is, which has put the weight on the quickest. So how on earth do we do that? Okay, so I'm going to have a break there. I think I've set up the video um, sort of right. I think I've explained to you what we're about to do. 
just to break things up a bit, I'm going to have a break. I'm going to put the kettle on and then we are going to go through this line by line. Okay, right. So back very, very shortly.